Welcome back to Life is Aisha. We're going right into the everyday makeup look. And in my previous video, I showed you how I did my brows. So if you all have not seen that, go back and look at that and then come back to this video. Or just finish this video out, then double back. I will have it up here in the card. So you can click on it when you are ready to do that. So what we're going to do right now is go into my everyday facial routine. I will be concealing a couple areas on my face um, just because I have like a, a little bit blemish here, you know, like right here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's definitely here. So we're going to do that right now. Like right there, um, above my nose, right here, on the side of my mouth area. A little bit right here on my nose area. but um i guess we can make this like a little chit chat so how have you guys been doing um i think i said this already in my previous video during the social distancing um i saw somewhere that i think texas is supposed to be like the state of texas is supposed to be like opening back up or something or um opening back up doesn't that sound odd <laughs> but um yeah it's supposed to be opening back up or whatever you want to call it um, so that's going to be interesting. I know the state of Florida, which I know Florida is on a different level from the rest of the United States. They reopened their beach areas and different things this past weekend. And then all of a sudden they saw um, a surge in cases of COVID-19. And um, I have been seeing a lot of places, a lot of places report that some of these numbers that are being reported it's exaggerated um so you know you got to be careful with what you believe and what you don't believe um and what news outlets and different things that you trust um i honestly just take it all with a grain of salt i'm just like you know i take it in but whether or not i really believe it mm, semi like probably 45% of the time I believe what I'm being told online. Rose water and glycerin spray. And I just basically use that to kind of um, help me blend in a concealer. So, spray it over my face. I'm using my Ultimate Blending Brush by um, Elf, which is, I really think is a really good brush. And it's a really kind of inexpensive brush for foundation. And I'm going to use that to bounce this concealer in. But yeah, so... um. I'm not really sure about that. I live in the state of Mississippi, and first, I'm in North Mississippi, so here I'm like close to the state line of where Mississippi and Tennessee meet. And um, I feel like Tennessee, they started adapting the stay-at-home order before my state did, and then we eventually did. So I kind of follow and look um, at what Tennessee is doing. If Tennessee says that they're going to open their state or something then I know that we're going to open ours and either we're soon to follow or we're right before them so that's the state that I kind of look at to see like what's going to happen um in my state and what our current governor is going to do but um right now we don't really know um a definitive date I don't think a lot of states know but It'd be interesting to, for me to see like what businesses and th different things open. My question for you all are, um, as soon as they open these states back up, are y'all going to like be running and ready to go? Or y'all going to kind of like wait it out and see how things play out? You know by now that my Holy Grail palette is my Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette. I always use this palette. Um, and I'm going to use it until I use up every color in here. I actually have another palette just like this that's brand new. So that's how much I like it. But um, I'm going to be using the color Peaches and Cream, Luminous, and what's this color? Cobbler under my brow bone. So basically these three shades here. And I like to mix all three of them together. So I just like tap my brush in each three of them. This is a um, Lux pencil. It's in the number 250. And it's a Zova pencil. I touched on these brushes in I think some Christmas haul that I did a while ago. So, um, yeah, and I'm just, I just like to bring it underneath my brow bone. Um, 
it's not a real like bright highlight but it does give like you know a little subtle glow which I really like and I'm going to be using the color caramelized and I'm going to be using a elf um I think it says a blending brush it's like a smaller blending, blending brush I'm using the color caramelized and I just like to apply that like right here above my lid I'm just putting it like on my inner corner and like brushing it out somewhat somewhat so it's not like a super look and it just gives me like a nice little glowy look on my eye lid it's nothing too um extravagant so now we're gonna do some lashes this is just some lashes that i got from um where did i get these from i think from like aliexpress or something so these are not like oh the best lashes i really love my mist lashes or it's another brand i've been using of lashes so i will probably do another video on those but this is just the last um lashes in the pack these are like kind of short but they are a bit um full kind of so you can see them but i just wanted to go ahead and throw this away and toss these because i've been having these for the longest so i'm gonna apply these and i'll be right back now we have our lashes on they are still drying down and mixing foundations um i've been really loving and i got glue all over my eye, my finger i've really been loving the wind wow photo focus um i really love the applicator and i'll show it in just a moment the color caramel and i have amber beige so um and i've been really loving see this is the applicator these are less than five dollars so like 4.90 so like right at the five dollar mark so cheap inexpensive foundation using the same blender brush and we're just kind of doing like a um a pat motion i thought my camera stopped in like a, um, a pat motion but um i'm rubbing it in but i'm kind of like you know and i'll be right back after i have this blended in and now that my foundation everything's all blended in i know i was looking a little ghostly but you know we got we got ourselves together and in order once we're going into my sleek silhouette palette and this lighter shade right here underneath my eye and this is what you call um basically i'm going to be highlighting but i'm not going to be using a concealer to do it i'm just using powder um base pr products only and we're just going to go right underneath the eye just to give ourselves a little highlight and of course we're going to dust some of this off shade right here just to give myself a slight contour um it's not super dark but um it will give me a little bronzing to my cheek area I'm going to go back into my sweet peach palette and i'm going to be using the color just peachy and the color candy peach these two orange shades right here and i like to use those just for a subtle little cheek um blush color i don't really use blush like that so i'm just gonna pop that right here in the center of my contour and my highlighted area on both sides and that basically is the finished look now i'll just be going in um to highlight okay, yeah um we had a couple technical difficulties i feel like titterella right now if you watch the battle you know exactly what i'm talking about um and it's coming on in a couple like 30 minutes so i gotta help and finish this off so on into the highlight y'all know i love my anastasia beverly Hills glow kit i'm just using a um what brush is this a face curve brush um, by Zola as well and I'm going to be using gold and bronze in my forehead and chin area and a mixture of dripping and gold and bubbly in my cheek and nose area so let's just do that real quick get us a little glow going on here I think you can see that I love this brush because it's like it keeps the product in one area like it doesn't saturate the product all around and I'm doing dripping in gold and um, nice little cheek highlight I 
I took my hair down. Um, can't remember if I said that already. And a little bit down the bridge of our nose here. Cupid's bow area. Just like to blend in my highlight so I'm not too glowy, you know. Okay, and now for the end of this vid, I'm going to be using the color red by Saigon. It is a ColourPop lipstick, and that's going to be my signature red. If you all know anything about me, you know I love to use red lipstick. I wear it almost every single day um, on the weekends. Anyway, I don't wear, really wear lipstick during the week. But uh, just going to apply that real quick. Okay, and that really is it. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. Let me lock it in with my matte um, setting spray. This is my Black Radiance, and I've been loving it. So let's pull the top off. I don't know why I'm twisting it off, but um, when you spray a little bit too much, <laughs> but um. Let me let that dry down. But that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed this. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.